Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm actually starting video from my car today um, and I've never done this before but here we go. Um, I don't have a tripod so you're kind of like perched on my, um, what's it called? Windscreen. So I don't think I'm going to drive with you there because it's going to end in absolute disaster. Um, but I've just finished up in the gym actually and um, I'm driving back to my house. I like never use my car in London really just because it's really pointless to have a car in the bit of London that I'm in really because you just get the tube everywhere and it's really hard to drive into Central. So the only time that I would use it is just basically to drive to Elliot's which is like south of London or to drive home which I've done once since November so basically never. Um, but I use it today because I had loads loads of stuff to take to the gym um, and I was filming some workout videos for my Instagram page so hopefully I'll be one up by the time you check this out. Um, also, just wanted to address my last YouTube video, which was my Bali vlog. So thanks for everyone who's watched it and also thanks for everyone who's told me that I really, really messed up the ending of it. Um, I think there's like six minutes of like black space. <laughs> um, but people did seem to think that I'd like missed out footage at the end. I actually hadn't. Um, and I did write a bit about the fact that it ends really, really abruptly, but it was just, a verbal explanation is basically that I film loads when I was with my cousin Emily at the start, which you'll see she's really funny and Scottish if you want to go and watch that. Um, but when Elliot got here on the first day, he got really, really sunburned. He spent like the second day inside and then I ended up getting really bad like stomach bug. Well, actually it wasn't really bad. That was really over the top and dramatic. It was like a stomach bug. Um, and I wasn't really in the mood to film for the next two days. I wasn't, I never felt like really awful. It didn't, it didn't like ruin the holiday or anything, but it's just like vlogging is quite, yeah, I do feel like I have to be on quite a positive vibe to vlog, which I don't know, maybe that's not like always the best way of doing it because you should really show like all your emotions and things. But um, I don't know if I'm quite there yet. So I wasn't feeling like super positive. So I found it really hard to vlog. And then I tried to take the camera out when we went shopping and um, I just then completely forgot that I had it with me. So you've just got a few random clips at the end basically, I'm really sorry. But I did ask whether you wanted me to either not put it up at all or put it up in a random order. And everyone said like, do put it up. So um, it's gone up and there's a mistake at the end, but I hope you like it anyway. So anyway, as you can tell by the title of the video, I am about to go shopping and it's gonna be a grocery haul. So I haven't actually done a big like food shop since I got back from Bali. I've just been, basically my, I think I keep saying basically in this video. Anyway, my house is literally opposite a Sainsbury's local. So I always go there to shop and it's not good because they're really overpriced, the Sainsbury's locals, I think, um, especially in London. And my university one in Nottingham was too, because they know that people use them for convenience and it's literally opposite my front door. So I'm gonna go to Lidl. It's either Lidl or Aldi. I get really confused. I don't know the difference, but I think it's Lidl. Um, I do like a weekly shop because I've basically got clear cupboards and a clear fridge. So I thought it'd be really interesting to show you exactly what I buy if I'm like starting from scratch. So probably won't be getting like herbs and spices because I have actually got those. Um, but all my like fresh ingredients and some tinned things as well. So I tried to write a vague list so I kind of know what I'm doing when I get in there. And then when I get back, I'm gonna lay it all out for you and explain exactly what I've bought and why I've bought it. And then maybe I'll do a what I eat in a day in the next video. And it'd be quite interesting, I guess, to show you like how I use that actually to make my meals. But anyway, I'm waffling. So I'm gonna go to Lidl and hopefully take you along with me. If not, I'll see you back at the flat though. I start at this end, I would say like the first thing that I would eat in the day is probably this bread. I really like this one because they're really small pieces and I know some people would be like, why do you want small pieces? But I don't have like a huge appetite and having those, two of those for breakfast like with a protein shake or 
whatever I do sometimes have a bagel actually so I only have that sometimes um I find they're quite good sized pieces for me um so yeah that's just like a Warburton's seeded loaf then I found these in Lidl today and they're mini wheat and white tortilla wraps and the idea behind me buying those was I thought we could make little mini pizzas so maybe me with Kate and Flo who are my housemates um but they look really cute anyway so I thought mini pizzas with those and then I got some of these sandwich thins, which I actually used to eat at home, but not this brand. This is like, I think a little like own brand. I used to eat the Warburton's ones. Um, but I think they are pretty low calorie. Um, not that I track my macros, but I'm trying to kind of lose a little bit of fat before I go away in summer, just to feel a bit more confident, I guess. And I thought these would be really good as like tuna sandwiches. I'm really loving tuna at the moment, as you'll probably see from my Instagram stories. Um, or I can put anything in them basically. Um, but they're like sandwich thins. And yeah, just really little thin bits of bread basically. So then the next two sort of carby things I bought are this bag of brown foosley and I think that's how you say it. Um, I, I tend to have pasta quite a lot actually and I'll just have it with like a tomato sauce or tuna again or like prawns or like literally a ton of things roasted vegetable pasta is probably like my favorite thing to do and then i got a big bag of white rice and i'm so guilty of buying the microwave rice things i'm really trying to get out of the habit of doing it and this was sort of one of the white rice brands they had in the supermarket and i'm actually trying white rice so i'm usually a brown rice girl i'm trying this because um, some people have said it's easier to digest and as you'll know from my like how to help your bloating video I really really struggle with it so I'm trying out this and I'll let you know whether it does actually leave me less bloated I wanted to find jasmine rice because I watched Lisa Fitz um what I eat in a day video from quite I think it's like from six months ago anyway she talks about white rice and how it's easier to digest so I will let you know how that one goes anyway and try and find some jasmine rice in the meantime so i don't know what to go on to next maybe like sauces anyway so i bought more of this which is like the butter spread that i use which is mainly plant-based it's not completely i think it does have a tiny bit of buttermilk in but i don't know why i should quite like this one i'd, I'd actually probably think it's because i like the packaging which is really bad um <laughs> actually i'm gonna put the camera down so in the supermarket today i found this sriracha mayo and i was honestly so excited this is like the start of my shop because i always have this in restaurants and things and i think in yo sushi they like drizzle on the sushi and i literally love it so i'm so excited about that then i got sriracha which i used to have at home sometimes and i don't have it in london i'm not sure why but i absolutely love it and my friend hester got me into that because she literally eats it on like everything and I first had it with her anyway um soy sauce just because it's a bit of a lifesaver really I have soy sauce with loads of things um it's quite high in sodium so you've got to use it sparingly but it's great and then pasta sauces god this table's really crowded I got two pasta sauces and now if you can, I do recommend to make these, but I watched a video once about how it's actually more price efficient to buy them in a jar already because it's so, so cheap. And if not, you'd have to buy all the ingredients separately and less packaging as well to buy them in the jar. So I have those on hand just in case I want to make a pasta dish and I'm really in a rush. And I may use one of those on my pizza bases as well. Oh, actually, no, because I bought a passata, so ignore that. Um, Marmite, just because, you know, love a bit of Marmite, especially on my toast or a bagel in the morning. Hi, it's me again. Um, sorry, my hair actually looks so terrible today. Oh, God. I did, like, a fitness Q&A video, and someone asked me whether I eat tinned foods, which I thought was really weird, because I was like, yeah, obviously I do. You can't live fully, fully off fresh food unless you've got literally loads and loads and loads of money because it's so expensive to buy everything fresh and make it so yes i do have some tinned foods um not many but i'll go through the ones that i actually have with you so i can show, sort of show you 
what I do tend to buy. This was the passata that I was explaining about before, which is just basically, it's basically like chopped tomatoes blended a bit more with extra things added in. So I know this one's got basil in. Um, and then I always buy sweet corn because I like to have it with my tuna. I don't know why I'm banging on about tuna so much. I, d I don't have it like all the time, but um, I've just had it for the last like three days in a row because I've had no food in the house. Um, then I got, I think I got three tins of tuna. And this is in brine because, no, it's in spring water, ignore me. But sometimes I do get it in brine. That won't focus. And um, just because if you get it in oil, you're just kind of adding extra fats that aren't really needed. Uh, you can add them elsewhere where they're gonna taste really, really nice. And um, then coconut milk. This is actually the light one, which I've tried before and it was quite nice. So I'm gonna use this and probably have it in like a Thai green curry or, I do this red curry with like halloumi. Oh no, I didn't get halloumi. Okay, well, I meant to get halloumi anyway. Um, chopped tomatoes, oh. Okay, I didn't mean to get the one with chili in, but I will let you know what that tastes like. And that's it from tinned ingredients. And then on to my like sort of, I guess it would be dairy, but I don't really eat a lot of dairy at all. Um, and obviously almonds aren't dairy. God, my brain is literally frazzled today. So almond milk, and I have my almond milk in a protein shake. So I have my chocolate PhD nutrition po uh, protein shake usually. And I have that with almond milk and ice and it goes down quite well for me. I usually hate protein shakes as I always harp on about. Then these are literally life changing and they are quark and this is actually not my favorite flavor this is just the one that i had left in the fridge i think it's it's a passion fruit and mango one but my favorite one's the raspberry one 20 grams of protein that is literally mind-blowing especially for me because i literally don't eat protein <laughs> i find it so difficult it's like the hardest thing for me and it definitely hinders my pro uh, process it definitely hinders my progress as well. Elliot's always like, you've got to eat more protein. But I just don't like the taste of protein infused things usually. So I just stick to my barbells um, and then try and get some like fish in where I can because I, yeah, I just really struggle and I don't really eat a lot of meat at all. Anyway, th this, I don't even know what I was just talking about then. Um, <laughs> this is life changing. Yeah, cork and it's so, so high in protein. No refined sugar, low in fat, high in taste. It literally tastes like yogurt, tastes like a fruit yogurt, but really, really nice texture. Um, not like those usual like protein infused yogurts. It's delicious. So that's actually from my Sainsbury's local and it's called Nutri. A mountain of protein it says on it and it really does have a mountain of protein in. So then going on to the protein that I bought. So I bought these cod fillets and I'm not usually someone who has just white fish by itself because I really don't like things that don't have a lot of flavour and I'm not actually like super super clued up on how to cook fish and so I know vaguely but I can't ever cook it to taste exactly how I want it so what I did last night is I put a two it was actually I made for my housemate but two slices of this in the Nutribullet and I coated the cod in a egg like whisked up and then the bread and it was like a fake fish and chips basically um so cod fillets and i'll probably do the same next week with those just because it's already wednesday um and then king prawns i just really like these in stir fries and things like that i do eat quite a lot of prawns um probably a few too many but it's like one of the only ways i get my protein and then i got some of these they are the red onion and rosemary sausages. And if you haven't tried the Linda McCartney's ones, they're honestly so, so good. And they are really, really good in pasta. So I'll have those with like roast veg and one, probably one of my pasta sauce jars. Hi, so I'm back again for the next bit. So now I'm gonna go through the fruit and veg with you because I'd say that's, I think this camera's really wonky, oh God. Um, cause I'd say that's like actually the bulk of my diet. Um, that takes up like by far the most room on this table. So if we start with fruit, um, so the fruit that I tend to eat the most, bananas. And as I said before, I like to put these in my protein shakes just because it kind of masks the taste of the protein even more and really, really good for energy. I will have these, um, 
I've actually filmed an IGTV video on snacking, so I'm hoping that'll be up soon. But I explained that like my dad would always make me have a banana like half an hour to 40 minutes before I went on to play a squash match. So I associate these with like fuel for workout or post-workout fuel, just workouts basically. In terms of other fruit, I have a juice in the morning, which I know a lot of you will have seen on my previous like what I eat in a day videos. And in that goes green apples. Also, please don't hate me about the packaging, but you can't really help it in England unless you go to like the really, really nice like organic shops, which are very expensive. Um, but I try and buy as many things out of a package as possible. Um, but Lidl's not particularly good for that. But anyway, green apples, celery, which I've eaten some of already yesterday. <clears throat> Then ginger, which is half gone. I literally love ginger and I make it really gingery. Carrots, and then the things that I'll, <clears throat> the things that I'll sort of alternate are, I'll sometimes put cucumber in, and then I will sometimes put like leafy greens in. In fact, I usually put leafy greens in, um, just because I like, they're really, really nutrient dense and there are a lot of benefits to me having those in the morning. So here, so here I've got kale. Um, and then I bought to try because in Bali I had this quite a lot in my juices and I really, really enjoyed it and it was quite a like fresh summery taste. But I bought mint um, and obviously I've had mint before but I haven't made, I haven't put it in a juice that I've made at home by myself before. So I'm gonna try this with like I don't know, like probably apple and celery and see how it is. So if it's really good, I'll do a little Instagram story of it. So that's it for sort of my juice. And I know there were some vegetables in there as well, but let's just pretend that didn't happen. Then in terms of like other fruit, I'll have picky fruit, so berries, which are so expensive. I don't know what they're like in other countries, but in England, berries are like, like this, it's like two pounds 80 or something ridiculous from Sainsbury's. But, um, the blueberries from Lidl really aren't very good at all. Like I find that when you buy them, they always feel like they're like past their best already. Whereas the Sainsbury's ones are really, really good. So blueberries are probably like my number one. And I think I really like berries because they're like picky fruit. And if you like kind of having your hands occupied and when, you know, like when you're on your laptop, or whatever, it's, I find it's really, really good to have the fruit next to me. I can just kind of like reach in and, you know what I mean. So I also bought strawberries today and I've only bought these because they are like just starting to come into season in England. Like they're not actually yet. These were grown in Spain. But anyway, they do sell British strawberries in the summer. So I feel good about buying them. And um, they actually look quite good because the strawberries in England in the winter are like such a weird, horrible, pale color. And these are quite red. So I'm quite excited to have these. For vegetables, I bought these mini peppers to snack on during the day, just in case I get a little bit hungry. I bought pre-chopped sweet potato. Now, I don't buy pre-chopped much. I don't buy many pre-chopped things. However, chopping up a sweet potato honestly drives me mad. Me and Kate were speaking about this yesterday. Kate's my best friend, my housemate, and about like really specific tasks that are really, really annoying to do. And my, probably three actually. One is putting new sheets on my bed. It drives me absolutely mad and I probably do it like every other week. And every time I'm like, oh, if I had to pay someone to do like one thing, it would probably be to put my sheets on their bed. And I don't know if it's because I'm not that tall as well. It's just like, it's just shaking it and getting like the duvet to the corners I find so annoying. And what are my others? Oh, tin tuna. When you have, when you have to open the tin of tuna with the tin opener, I just not good at it at all. And then it's so much faff, and you've got like tuna water everywhere, and then it smells, and you've got to wipe all the surfaces. So I will pay that fifty p extra to have a little lever thing on the tin because it drives me mad. Anyway, another one is like chopping up really big root vegetables. Um, so that's one of the things that I would buy pre done. Um, and yeah, you can reuse the tin thing, so it's not too bad. Then onions, these are things that are probably I'll roast into roast vegetables, <laughs> roast into roast vegetables. Courgette, aubergine, 
peppers, got three of these. I eat peppers literally all the time. And then, oh, mushrooms as well, pasta, breakfast, whatever you wanna do with those. Do you know what I didn't buy is eggs. I do actually scramble eggs into my stir fries for a little bit of extra protein and I will sometimes have them for breakfast as well, but I've just completely forgotten to buy them today. Um, so yeah, mushrooms really great. And then my sort of rogue one of the day was cabbage. <laughs> now, the reason I bought this is because in Bali, I had rice paper rolls all the time and they all had cabbage in. I actually wanted to buy a red and a white cabbage because I had a mix but I'm gonna try and order the rice paper rolls, rice paper, like the sheets off um, Amazon, because I feel like they'll probably have them in Amazon Pantry, and try and like replicate them. So I wrote down everything in them. So I think they had like grated carrot and really finely chopped pepper. And then the sauce that comes with them is like a sesame peanut thing. So I'm gonna make that anyway. So hopefully that's a task for the weekend for me. So yeah, that's why I bought cabbage this time. Now I'm gonna turn the camera around again and go on to the snacks. So the snacks I bought from the supermarket today, one was the protein yogurt, which I already said. Then one of the others are these Nature Valley protein peanut and chocolate bars, and they're not like particularly good for you, but I just saw the 10 grams of protein. And I remember that I tried them before and liked them. And as I said, like I'm really, really fussy with high protein things just because I don't like artificial tastes and these t actually taste really good. So I'm sort of allowing myself to have this as like an extra little like chocolatey snack sort of thing if I'm hungry. And then I bought these yesterday, but I've already eaten quite a few and they are the salt and vinegar snack jacks. I'm actually doing some work with snack jacks at the moment. Um, and I usually like the small ones, they're really, really good, and they were an actual godsend to me at university. Um, but my Sainsbury's local only sold the big ones, so we're going with the big ones for now. So in terms of other snacks that I'll have, they are sort of smoothies, the fruit, and then dark chocolate. I love having dark chocolate in the evening. And I actually got sent a massive like Garnier chocolate, well, not Garnier chocolate, but the package was from Garnier, and it was like an egg and we're currently trying to make our way through that. So it's usually actually sweet snacks that I'll tend to go for and I wouldn't say I actually have a particularly sweet tooth. It's just because I don't snack loads and my main meals are always savory and then my protein shakes are obviously sweeter anyway and then all the bear bells things that I have are sweet. So that's it for snacks I bought on this shop. So that's my shop done, basically. Um, sorry that was like so rambly, but I really, really wanted to get it filmed for you. And I just, I can't tell you how tired I am at the moment. I'm really not a tired person, but I think it's just a combination of obviously having got back from Bali and body power at the weekend, which was literally insane. Like I can't even tell you. I still feel on like cloud nine about it. Um, and it was so amazing to meet so many of you. And I think, it, it's really, really inspired me to just keep doing what I'm doing. And YouTube is something I've really, really struggled to get into, if I'm honest. And it's not because, it's not because I'm like nervous about, I don't know if that's in focus. Yeah. Sorry, I'm so sweaty from the gym. Um, it's not because I'm like nervous about filming myself because actually I'm quite a like chatty person and I quite like chatting to the vlog, especially as I work from home by myself and I get really bored. Well, not bored, but like lonely. But I think it was like the process of learning to edit the videos and knowing what to put out. And I would always be really nervous about putting out new content ideas. Cause I'd be like, oh, what well, if no one's gonna watch my videos? And I think I've just realized like after hearing even just a few girls, well, a few boys as well, but girls this weekend, I don't know why I'm saying girls and boys, men and women, I guess, um, this weekend, saying that I've inspired them and I was like oh my god that's that's literally like incredible to me I feel like emotional about it but I just keep thinking like a year ago like I wasn't even posting fitness content on my channel and to think that I've managed to touch even like a few people from that is just like it's honestly just like so amazing to me so I'm gonna really, really keep going with it and just try and like build up my little audience. And thank you to all of you that do watch my videos. Sorry, this has turned into like a really deep chat. But yeah, I do really appreciate you watching my videos and always let me know if there's something that you'd like me to film. So this was like a requested video. So 
I hope that you will enjoy it. And it's a bit of an insight, I guess, into like what I buy to help me stay on track. And as I said, my goal is to like cut down a little bit on fat, just because I think being in a bikini in Bali when I've not, it's not like not been eating particularly well because I do naturally eat pretty well. It was just more that I think I'd not been exercising as I'd used to. I'd really, really not been focusing on my protein intake, which means that like, my diet is predominantly carbs and fats and not that there's anything really wrong with that but it's just not really going to help me get to where I want to get to or to be like where I was last summer and I just want to feel confident I guess like everybody does <laughs> so I'm going to set myself like a few little goals and yet one of them is to really really nail my protein every single day so I'm even considering going back to my fitness part and just tracking for like two or three days just to make sure that I'm really on target and I'll try and keep you updated with how it all goes. But I'm gonna end the video here and I'm hoping my next video will be a what I eat in a day using all of this food. I've got loads of really good like foodie ideas at the moment. So if you would like that, do let me know in the comments. But thank you for watching and sorry that that was very rambly and I don't even know if most of it made sense. But I appreciate it as always. And if you did like it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe as that just really, really helps my channel. And I'll see you in my next video.